Hey guys, it's Leia. Today we will talk about function arguments. An argument of a function is an input in the function, or what we plug into the function, normally for x. Arguments are also known as independent variables, and what the function equals is the dependent variable. So our input is an independent variable, and our output is a dependent variable. Here are some examples of arguments. We can see in these examples, 3 and y are the arguments which we want to input into the function. Now let's see some examples of how to solve these problems. First example, we have f of x equals 2x plus 4, and we have f of 5, where 5 is our argument. First, we substitute our argument in for x. So we sub x with 5. Now let's simplify. We first multiply 2 and 5. Then we add 10 and 4, and we get 14, which is our answer. Next example. We have f of x equals 1 over 2x squared plus 4x and f of 3a, where 3a is our argument. First, we substitute our argument 3a in for x. Now we simplify. We square 3a, then we multiply and get our answer 1 over 18a squared plus 12a, which is our answer. Last example, we have f of x equals 4x squared plus 3x minus 1 and f of x plus 1, where x plus 1 is our argument. First, we substitute x with the argument, so we plug in x plus 1 for x. Now we simplify. First, we expand x plus 1 squared. Then we multiply. Then we combine like terms and get 4x squared plus 11x plus 6, which is our answer. Understanding arguments isn't very hard. Just remember to plug the argument into the function. For more help or practice on this topic, visit www.symbolab.com and click on the Practice tab.